Hi, I'm Sharon Mitchell. Thanks for downloading my seven tips for how to drink less. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about me and about my story and my journey with alcohol. So I started drinking when I was a teenager and I've never been one of those people who has had one drink or two drinks or three drinks. I have always got drunk every time I drink. I started drinking like that when I was a teenager and then I drunk like that every day of my adult life until I stopped drinking. So for me, in the beginning, alcohol worked for everything I wanted it to do. When I was hungry, I wasn't hungry. When I was thirsty, it made me not thirsty. When I was scared, I wasn't scared. Um, when I was um, nervous about being in a situation, when I was worried about something, alcohol just helped everything. But in the end, alcohol stopped working for me. I ended up being at the stage where I was drinking all day, every day. I actually am what is called a high functioning alcoholic, which means during the time that I was drinking, I actually kept working, I kept my family, I kept my business. On the outside, everything looked really great. I, by the time I had stopped drinking, I actually um, had a business with my um, then husband I had my two children who were in the best private school in the city that we lived in. We had three European cars in the driveway and we had a great big white mansion up on the hill. We had everything in life that everyone thought that you could ever want. And on the inside, I was desperately, desperately unhappy. Um, by the time I hit what I call my rock bottom, um, my twins were 12 years old and I had one particular day that became a crisis day for me when I realised that even though I had all these things that the world said would make me happy, I was still desperately, desperately unhappy and empty on the inside. And alcohol had helped me with that until that time. And so I really didn't know what else to do except just attempt to drink myself to death. So the last three months of my drinking, I actually drank every hour of every day, 24 hours a day. Every minute I was awake, I was drinking. And that was the only time I wasn't running my business or parenting the way I should have been. And then in the last two weeks of my drinking, I had three alcoholic seizures within that time. And on the last alcoholic seizure, I was lying in the emergency department and the doctor looked down at me and he said, Sharon, you're an alcoholic and you're going to die tonight. And um, it was hard to comprehend that that was the first time in all my years of drinking that anyone had ever told me I was an alcoholic. And there wasn't really much I could do about it because I didn't know what kind of a solution there was. I'd never met anyone who had told me they were an alcoholic, either drinking or sober. I didn't know that there was a solution. I didn't know that there were things that I could do about this. So my family was brought in that night to say goodbye to me um, because the doctors did think I would die. And um, my family still remembers that time. It's a very sad time, obviously. Anyway, to everyone's surprise, I didn't die. And um, three days later, they actually said, OK, we think you're going to live. You're past the dangerous time now. And all you have to do is stay sober. But of course, that was only the beginning of my journey, which is now nearly 10 years ago. I have not had a drink since that time. Um, for me, this journey has had to be the kind of journey where I stopped drinking altogether. But that doesn't necessarily mean that that's the journey everyone needs to go through. Um, since that time, I qualified as a counsellor and a women's coach, and I've dedicated most of my life since that time um, working with other women who struggle with their alcohol use. I've travelled around the world and I've worked with rich women and poor women and women in prisons um, and one thing I know for sure is that the feelings that surround our alcohol use is universal and the pain that we have 
and the reasons we drink and a lot of the solutions are the same. So I um, developed this program that initially I worked one-on-one -on -one with women and um, then over time developed it onto an online program and um, now try to help as many women as I can on their journey to change their relationship with alcohol. I've had a lot of blessings um, in this journey through changing my own relationship with the way I drink and one of the biggest blessings has been my relationship with my children. Um, my twins um, now are 21 and they, uh, when I got sober, it's really safe to say that they hated me, hated me with a vengeance. Um, it's not that we had a bad relationship, it's that we didn't have a relationship. I didn't have the ability to look after myself, let alone parent my children. And um, my daughter recently told me that she actually remembers that day that they were told that I would die and she, with it for her came relief that she thought, well, that could be the best thing for everyone. Um, that's how much my drinking was affecting my children. Anyway, now over this time, not only have I been able to change my own life dramatically, but I have also changed my children's life and our relationship now is fantastic. And I can really say my daughter and I are best friends now. And she's the first one to say that she's very, very grateful for the journey that I went through and the things that I've learned because I can actually pass those lessons on to her. Um, and I'm very blessed now to have this fantastic relationship with my children. Um, changing the way you drink can change so many areas of your life. It can change your relationship with your children, um, partners and spouses, your workplace, you know, the way that you find happiness and joys in your life. It has a really extended ripple effect. Um, so for me, it's been without a doubt the hardest thing I've ever done and I don't think anyone would say differently, but the blessings are countless and um, I'm very happy to share this journey with you.